Hello, and welcome to the channel. Today's lesson will be divided into three sections. Listen in. Role-playing, vocabulary, and expressions. The conversation is taking part at a car dealership between a customer and a car salesperson. For better audio quality, I recommend using headphones. How can I help you, madam? I'd like to buy a new or used car that fits my budget. I'm not looking for anything fancy, and I don't want a rental car. Now how about this one? It's a perfect buy, madam. On Sundays, a little old lady drove it to her church services. It has low mileage and cries out for a worthwhile owner. Hmm, I'm not sure. You say the little old lady drove this red sports car to church? Yes, she engaged in some very expensive hobbies, but really didn't use the car that much. Well, I'll have to mull it over. I was thinking of a second-hand car that was a bit less ostentatious, like a wagon or a utility vehicle, not a sports car and not a four-wheel drive. Uh, how about this one? You could invest in this classic 1968 Miner. Doesn't it just leap out at you? Silver trim, classic style. Insurance and finance are good. And we've only recently marked down the price. It's been well looked after, but the owner moved overseas, so had to leave behind his pride and joy. I'll note down the details, but I don't think it will rank among the rest. We live in an area with lots of hills, and those small cars are well known for not being able to climb hills. Okay, this is the last one within your budget. It's a small family car, but it failed to meet the previous owner's expectations. The guy had to walk away from it. His wife said that the number plate was bad luck. You're putting me on. What's wrong with that number plate? Your guess is as good as mine. Okay, I'll talk it over with my husband and see if we can scrape together some extra cash. We may take the offer if he agrees. Awesome. One question. Does your husband hail from Canada? No, he's from Korea. If you're enjoying the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Now listen to the salesperson and then act as the lady after you hear the bell. How can I help you, madam? Now how about this one? It's a perfect buy, madam. On Sundays, a little old lady drove it to her church services. It has low mileage and cries out for a worthwhile owner. Yes, she engaged in some very expensive hobbies, but really didn't use the car that much. How about this one? You could invest in this classic 1968 Miner. Doesn't it just leap out at you? Silver trim, classic style. Insurance and finance are good. Okay, this is the last one within your budget. It's a small family car, but it failed to meet the previous owner's expectations. The guy had to walk away from it. His wife said that the number plate was bad luck.
Your guess is as good as mine. Madam, this is a formal and polite way of addressing a woman. To sound like a native speaker, you could say, Ma'am. How can I help you, ma'am? Example, Madam, may I help you with your bags? Fits my budget. This means that something is affordable and you have the amount of money that you're planning to spend. For example, you wanted to buy something that cost $20, and you have exactly $20. The price fits your budget. Example, the toy costs $20, which fits my budget perfectly. I'm not looking for anything fancy. The speaker prefers something straightforward and not special. Sometimes we use the word fancy as a verb to mean want. For example, do you fancy going to see a movie? Which means, do you want to go see a movie? Example, she wore a fancy dress to the wedding ceremony. It's a perfect buy. This means that something is a very good purchase because it meets all your needs or expectations, often at a good price. Example, this new book was a perfect buy because I love the story and it was on sale. To mull something over to think carefully about something before making a decision. Example, when he asked me if I wanted the job, I said, I'll have to mull it over before deciding. Doesn't it just leap out at you? This means that something is very noticeable or obvious and not easy to miss. Example, the bright red apple on the tree, doesn't it just leap out at you? I'll note down the details. This means that you are going to write down important information so you don't forget it. Example, when you tell me the time and place, I'll note down the details in my notebook. I'll talk it over with my husband. This means that you will discuss something with your husband and make a decision together. Example, I need to decide about the vacation, so I'll talk it over with my husband tonight. Scrape some extra cash. This means making an effort and gathering or finding a little bit more money. Example, I need to scrape some extra cash to buy the new dress I want. Your guess is as good as mine means that you don't know the answer to something, just like the other person doesn't know. Example, when he asked me when the bus would arrive, I said, your guess is as good as mine. I have no idea. Does your husband hail from Canada? This is American English. 
It means you are asking if your husband comes from or is originally from Canada. Example. She hails from Australia, so she loves the beach and the ocean. I recommend that you write down these expressions and practice repeating them as often as possible so you can use them in your everyday conversations. Thank mm -hmm. you.